So I'm Caitlin Angus, I'm from Hutton Vale Farm and I'm the seventh generation here. My three little girls are eight, so they don't know yet. Um, so there's a long history of farming and it is definitely something that's in the genes and I, I, it's sort of, you know, I've come and gone, as we all have all three, there's my, I've got a sister and a brother, but I sort of, I went, worked in Melbourne for a bit and I just, something kept pulling me back and then I fell into the world of parenthood and then I needed something that was going to be flexible and versatile and it's just I still had that pull back to the farm and before I know it, knew it, I was back living here and within five years we'd just completely gone to the next level with protein production with doing meat birds and ducks and eggs on top of the lamb that we're already doing and we do a few pigs every now and then but we just we don't know when to stop it in a good way we sort of oh yeah, we'll give it a go. You know, if someone sort of throws it out there, oh, we can't get such and such locally, oh, we'll give it a go, you know, and, and we mean it, we will, and we do. Um, and it could be our, our undoing at some point. <laughs> and it's exciting. There's a lot of satisfaction in growing your own produce. We're forever evolving. When I was a child, it was literally cereal cropping, grapes and sheep for wool. That was it. And then early 90s mum just went completely for it with the value adding side of things we had a bumper pear crop bang she was on to chutneys and this that, and it just kept growing and we sort of realized that the value adding is what's going to keep agriculture alive and you're just not always going to be a price taker but you can start you know setting setting that standard and getting some really good results and it's so rewarding when you work with customers that understand a shortfall of product, but they're going to wait. They'll wait 18 months if they have to, you know, and they mean it quite seriously. That's cool. We're good. Um, and there's that, re it's just reassuring that people believe in what we do as much as we do. Um, some of our, I mean, I've got a gen an elderly gentleman that I deliver to every week who can't drive and, and he just, so he gets his, you know, single cut of lamb and a dozen eggs and just the look on his face he's just oh it's here like it's and that is priceless you know there's nothing economical about driving 20 minutes to deliver a six pack of chops but for me the reward the emotional reward I'll do it twice a week three times a week if if he wanted it you know it just it, there's some a real feel good in what we do for us and for our customer so sometimes the product costs a little more our eggs cost more because they're not a caged egg they're a free range egg we do everything in small batches so we're not overworking anything probably except ourselves but we hold the stress not the animal and that's so important that the animal can completely do what it should do how it should and almost be oblivious to us taking what we take with in regards to eggs and you know there's nothing more rewarding than having a product that's just you can be really proud of if, do you know what I mean you just you can just see it in the end product So we've got an outdoor kitchen lounge. Which basically, we've, we've got four double rooms, all with ensuites. People can then, it's, you know, it's glamping at the next level. You have the wood fire going. You can cook yourself dinner, or and have the the ultimate living room with a view to kill. Um, so it's. <laughs> So we've got 2,000 acres all up um, and about 72 of those acres are under vine and the rest we've got is mainly grazing. We also run sheep for wool and later this year we're releasing a Barossa wool product. Now we shear every nine months but we have two batches of sheep so it ends up being every four months. <laughs> it's kind of crazy but... Um, it's all to fit in with this new wool product we're doing. Um, they only want it a certain length, so nine months growth is where that's at. And we'll be shearing in a couple of weeks' time. Um, so, but it's, there's a real buzz on the farm. You can hear the hum of the, the shears going, and it just, there's a real sense of activity. So it's quite a, it's quite a fun week. There's lots of different, um, Lots of different aspects for me to keep my keep myself on the game but then on top of that we've got 
a tourism aspect that mum and my brother are sort of heading them at, at the moment and that involves people coming from simple as coming in for a lunch um, from two to 22 or to however many up to the next level of flying in on a private jet and having a private tour and going to that level and doing the lunch and things so and that's really exciting for us it's um the the response has been quite breathtaking and it's kind of it's once again it's just confirmed that it is time to share <laughs> it's sort of time to let everyone have a taste of what we've got here and um and let them just feel like they can step back in time for a while and have a have a trip to hit through history. Um, we have a lot of respect for the land that we live on because we don't want it to be overworked. Um, we want it to be sustainable um, because we want the next eight, nine, ten generations to be able to enjoy it like we are today. Um, in a nutshell, we're in a bit of paradise. We really are. We're surrounded by beautiful rolling hills with you know, four to five hundred year old gum trees that are so big that you can't even imagine the size of them really. Um, the wildlife, you know, having kangaroos literally on your back, on, you know, 50 metres away from your back door is just, that's normal for us, but not for many. There's, it's just, it's Australian paradise. It really is. <laughs>